The Desai Sethi Urology Institute is my vision of creating a freestanding urology institute involving multiple disciplines uh, and collaborators from across the entire health system and different departments within the universities to solve urologic problems and healthcare problems. My vision for the Urology Institute was only made possible due to the extraordinary generosity and contribution and donation from the Desai Sethi Family Foundation of $20 million. And that has allowed us to get all the resources that we need to create this common platform. It's critical that the Institute is tied to the medical school and the academic health system and the entire university, because only then you get the full inclusion of people and talent from across multiple specialties and work together to problem solve and innovate and find discoveries for urologic problems. As a robotic surgeon, I can tell you that robotic surgery uh, creates a minimally invasive option or a lesser invasive option for common urologic problems, in my case, common urologic cancers, and it significantly decreases or reduces the morbidity of a patient and enhances recovery in many of these patients. We're proud to have published the first US series on focal HIFU. And uh, in this study, what we found was that HIFU is safe and uh, has minimal side effects and a very promising oncological outcome. HIFU can potentially uh, bridge the gap between active surveillance, which is just watching a tumor, and being more aggressive and doing radical treatment, such as radical uh, prostatectomy and radiation therapy. The Decisat Urology Institute has allowed me to perform high quality research that can potentially advance the field of HIFU and focal therapy. The biggest advantage of the Decisat Urology Institute and being a part of the U Health uh, medical system is that we're able to collaborate with other disciplines because we're able to perform not only novel research but also clinical care that goes above and beyond what you'll find at most other cancer centers. We've actually been researching one of the most novel and unique approaches to treating metastatic prostate cancer. Our main focus in treating prostate cancer has always been surgery. Now, interestingly, surgery is something that we utilize mainly for localized prostate cancer when it's not spread. Whereas for metastatic prostate cancer, when it's spread outside of the prostate, the general thinking is that you can't operate on those patients. We are fortunate to be part of a large multi-institutional cooperative group trial, the SWOG1802 trial, where we are actually investigating the use of surgery in metastatic prostate cancer. There are several things that we have been able to take advantage of with the institutional resources of Desai Sethi, uh, specifically related to investigator-initiated trials for surgery. We've explored outcomes related to robotic bladder cancer surgery, and also as it relates to patient outcomes for prostate cancer surgery. The combination of what we have here in terms of resources, institutional support, as well as philanthropic efforts allow us to do this, which can't be done elsewhere. One of the areas that has become a, a big area in prostate cancer is the role of MRI and biomarkers. And we've actually been able to establish two NCI-funded investigator-initiated trials looking at the role of MRI and biomarkers in detecting prostate cancer and also following prostate cancer. So it's a very unique trial that we've actually implemented and designed. And so I think it's gonna shed a lot of important information in prostate cancer. The Institute has helped us provide support to be able to conduct research that is important to advance both urology as well as the field of male fertility. What we have done with COVID and male reproduction research is that we have identified the presence of the virus in the testis and the penis long after the initial infection. We have found the adverse effects of COVID, the actual virus, on male fertility, sexual dysfunction, but more importantly, we found the safety of COVID vaccines on male fertility. We have proved that the vaccine does not seem to impact male fertility, either in the short term or in the long term. We have a specialized mentoring program at the Desai Seti Urology Institute, specifically geared towards students from underrepresented backgrounds, as well as females. It's funded by philanthropic efforts from people in the community. We're able to support students who are interested in urology, provide them with research opportunities so we can train the next generation of urologists. It's well established that racial and ethnic disparities exist in all sorts of conditions, including urologic conditions. 
However, there's a growing awareness that this really is a representative of not really a biologic construct, because there is no biologic construct of race, but social aspects. So we need to do the work to understand what are these barriers to care. A lot of studies have shown that female patients are interested and often even delay care because they want same gender um, providers. So it is crucial to be able to provide that for patients. We care for a unique community in the United States that represents a minority majority population. We work with our community leaders and we engage with community leaders in Miami-Dade County so that we can deliver meaningful care, impactful care in a way that patients feel safe and heard. This institute will allow us to grow further faculty members to expand on our clinical excellence and improve our access in underserved areas in this community. We also strive to become a regional, national, and a global resource for urology communities across the entire world and a great resource for collaboration to solve common problems.